What's going on everyone, Erfic32 here, and I got something new for you today. Back from here. Also. Pretty awesome pants if I do say so myself. Um, and I'm making soup! Not, not really. I'm gonna unplug this before I shock myself and I wanted to show you what I've been working on today this is not my project but here's a camshaft it is nasty and rusted <clears throat> stay and it is from a Mercedes 6.2 liter AMG motor. And. Gross. Pro tip. Don't pick up rusty objects with bare hands if you don't want to get rust on your hands. Imagine that. But. We took apart this motor. Um, Al and I. Uh. probably about a year ago um, and for the longest time it sat on the back porch at my other house here on the phone and it sat out there in the rain and then when I moved it rode around in the back of his truck here until recently when he actually cleaned out the bed of his truck and he was like hey got this awesome idea for lamps Take the camshaft, keep the gear mounted on them, because they're hollow, run a tube up through the inside with wiring, camshaft will spin, lamp stays stationary, and he was like, I need you to clean them up. He's like, I know you got an electrolysis tank. I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. So he brought them over and actually got to use it today. Um, haven't been too busy. And you saw what the camshaft looked like. I have one in here. That's your um, anode. That's the bad one. And then over here is the camshaft. And what I'm going to do for y'all is it's been in here. It's 7.59 now, so about two and a half hours and you can see it looks pretty good um, I'm going to stick this back in the water for a second, and we're going to venture in here and grab a rag and wipe it down. <clears throat> Two rags. Alrighty. The battery charge is really loud. Have the battery for the Ford charging. I'm going to set this down for a second and wipe this off. So it's going to require a little bit more cleaning than this, but you can see the general gist. I'm not sure what this black is, probably leftover residue of something, probably oil if I had to guess, but yeah, 
Electrolysis is an amazing tool. What is that? Ow! Damn it. Hey, in case y'all were wondering, when camshafts are hollow and you put them in water, they fill up with water. Imagine that. And. I'll show you this anode here. Pretty gross, right? And that green stuff was copper wire. Um, copper wire that looked fresh when I put it in. Well, it was fresh because I had just taken the coating off of it. Um, but yeah, that's a real live look at what electrolysis does. And, um, you know, I'll probably go back with a, a uh, brass brush and some Dawn or Gojo or something and clean up the camshaft once I get the other side done. But super, super simple. Um, battery charger. A container for water. Water. Washing soda. The piece you're doing. And the uh, piece you don't care about. So that's battery charger. Water. Washing soda. Container anode and cathode six things yeah the six things and most of you have water and you can find a container and if you're doing this you probably have some sort of junk metal laying around so there you go I just used the uh, crankshafts sleeve off of that 360 that's on the flatbed um, and it's real easy to set up really really easy you dump some washing soda in the water I use hot water fill it up and you hook the negative side to the part you want to take the rust off of and you hook the positive side up to your anode which is the part that you want to want all the rust to go to now since that sleeve was covered in oil it seems that the corrosion went to the copper but it's off the camshaft which is all that matters um, one warning newer battery chargers that can that shut off power when they're not connected to a battery don't work unless you mess with them um, which is why you saw I have two battery chargers in there. One is that old battery charger that I'm actually using, and the other one is that newfangled one that I actually use to charge batteries with. Um, but if you look closely at the video, you'll see that I have the red clamp attached to the camshaft. That is because my clamps are backwards. Um, the guy I bought the battery charger from snagged both the clamps off and... Put them back on the wrong wire it doesn't bother me i know how to operate my battery charger and so i just swap them around also it's really easy to tell if you actually try to charge your battery with it when you put them on backwards it sparks a lot so i know they're backwards but if you do it yourself black clamp goes on your cathode make sure you do that black clamp cathode Cathode is the part you're taking rust from. Anode is the part you're giving rust to. Red clamp goes on it. Not the way I have it in my video. Make sure you follow that. And make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area. I'm doing it in the bathroom with the vent fan on because electroly electrolysis produces hydrogen gas. Do not do it in an area where it could produce a spark. Hydrogen is highly flammable. I'm not sure if anyone's ever blown themselves up using electrolysis. Um, 
Maybe that's an idea for Mythbusters. Put an electrolysis tank in a pretty sealed little shed and introduce a spark. If it goes boom, then you know it produces enough gas. But why test that theory myself in my house? And I would do it outside, but it's raining and nighttime. So I'll do it inside and just leave the vent fan on. But yes, electrolysis is a fantastic tool when you know how to use it. Um, I've got two guns a while ago, long, long time ago. We're talking multiple years. Um, there were two number four Mark I Lee Enfields, um, British serv service rifle, World War II. And it looks like they had gone through a flood. I mean, they were caked in rust and dirt. And I ran them through the electrolysis probably four or five times. And it got down to the point where metal was left, no rust, um, electrolysis doesn't remove pitting. Pitting is already there, so that's metal that's taken away. I always hear people complain about that. Oh, well, I used electrolysis and now my piece is all pitted. No, your piece was pitted to begin with, you just couldn't see it because of the rust. But the rifles looked so much better. They weren't rusted. And you could actually read the serial numbers. And they even had the U.S. property marks on them. I've since gotten rid of those guns. Or I would have gotten them out and showed you. Um, but electrolysis can be done cheaply. Washing soda is like $6 for a big box. Water is cheap. I mean, a gallon is 98 cents at Walmart or something like that for distilled water, which probably works even better than tap water. A bucket. I mean, Home Depot sells buckets for like $3 if you don't have one laying around or whatever you want to do your thing in. I mean, I would love to get an actual piece of like 8 or 10 inch PVC pipe that was like 3 foot tall. So I could do entire camshafts and barrel assemblies and things like that in one go without having to flip them up upside down. But I don't, so I use a bucket. Um, battery charger. Make sure if you get a new battery charger that it's not one of the ones that cuts off power when you don't have a battery connected because that won't work because obviously it detects that an electrolysis tank is not a battery so that doesn't work for y'all but i have an old that old crappy battery charger that its only use now is electrolysis um but i hope y'all enjoyed this video um actually got to see something that i'm working on in the process of it you saw it for the first time when I saw it, when I pulled it out of that water. Um, if y'all care about your hands getting dirty when you do stuff like that, wear gloves. I don't care about my hands getting dirty because I work on cars without gloves. I do all sorts of things with my hands that I don't wear gloves and my hands get filthy. So, If you're going to work on things like this and you care about your hands... Getting dirty, wear gloves. Harbor Freight sells these fantastic gloves. They're... I actually got a box out here, I believe. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Light. Nope. Light. Too many light switches in this house. But, these gloves. The Hardy 9mm Nitrile gloves. They are fantastic. They barely rip. And you get 50, 50 gloves, which is 25 pairs. It's like $10. Less if you use coupons. Even less. And the 9 mils are so much better than 5 and 7. Just trust me. Get the 9 mils. Yeah, 9 mil. Great caliber, too. But... If you don't want your hands to get dirty, get those. Or whatever brand you prefer, but Horror Freight is the cheapest for me. 
and probably the easiest to get to too. Um, turned into a long video, but I'm glad I got to show y'all um, something I'm doing in the process of doing it, not just videoing as I go. I still got a ton of videos on the GoPro that I have not gotten through. Don't have any editing software, so that's why I haven't. But please rate, comment, subscribe on anything that you don't like, that you want me to do, and I will try to do it. Um, but otherwise, y'all take it easy, have a great night, and come back next time.